Hi guys, welcome to the video. It's a beautiful day here in Salt Lake City and what better view than this. I'm gonna be taking you through a full individual training session for a professional footballer and what I'm doing to stay sharp on the ball. Thank you very much for all the support on the last two videos that I posted last week. Hopefully this is another video you're gonna love. So guys, just before we start, I want to say that I've done a full warm-up at home. If you want to check out my five favorite prehab exercises, go check out my home workout video. So I've done a full warm-up and I'm ready to go. Now the most important thing for me when I'm training individually is that all the drills are game realistic, they're all at high tempo, I get enough rest between drills so that I can recover, and each drill replicates a scenario in a game. For me, there's no point in practicing something that I wouldn't do in a game. Whenever I do an individual training session, I like to make notes before so that I have a clear idea in my head what I'd like to work on. So I write out each individual session and then that way I know and it's a clear picture in my mind and it's very easy to do. It takes five, 10 minutes to prepare your session. I'd highly recommend you do it. All these drills are game realistic and ones you guys can do at home. I've got cones, you can use any object. You can use small area, big area, whatever you'd like. Um, there are going to be some drills that involve goals, so anyone that have goals, that's great. Um, but if not, it's very minimal equipment, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so the first drill we're going to do is just a warm-up. Now it is important not just to warm up physically, uh, but also get good touches on the ball and warm up before you start anything. You know, if I was to do my first drill as a, a shooting drill, it's not um, the right progression. So I'm gonna start with a warm up, and it's very simple. 10 meters, cones apart. I'm just gonna go through a few little, little, little drills. Um, so yeah, let's get started. As a two year old, and she know it. Got me at a loss for words, though I'm a poet. Watch it when she bag it up, toot it, and throw it. In a circle, hurt you by virtue when she show it. We've been here before, the garments and the decor is different. Now I'm tripping off, this is a love of war. Saw you all in my dreams, a castle in pink dress. Princess toast, do I told you? How could I think less? Taking over my soul, the same to my weak flesh. Don't even know her name, feel lame with each breath. But practicing my game, the same with each step. Excuse me, miss, I'm the sh how we rep. But right at that moment, as soon as I had a plan, another guy. I slid by and grabbed her by the hand Can't tell if it's a man, but she called me by my eyes Said we can't meet here, but you can meet me in the sky Meet me in the sky I never knew I could fly so high Meet me way up there Girl, I can't breathe without your love Come on, be my air Yo Meet me in the sky where the stars touch Me, you and God holding hands over stardust And the universe works in our favor You have been praying for a man but you your own savior I'm just here to walk you into the light Hold you up for support, comfort you in the night Unfold your wings, teach you about flight Your eyes hurt the first time you perceive sight And I see you looking, see you looking From the dance floor, merely rocking like you cooking Trying to think of words to say to make my approach Avoiding eye contact until I know we close And I know the mood is right and the time too not sure how many lives i live to find you but you're here now that makes two of us said you the only one that takes two of us meet me in the sky i never knew i could fly so high meet me way up there girl i can't breathe without your love can be my end so as you can see from the warm-up it's all things I would do in a game. And what's important to me is, is that, first of all, you can time out of breath, because I'm doing everything at a high tempo. Whether it's the warm up, whether I'm finishing off, whether it's the most intense drill, I'm doing it at a high pace and game realistic if I can. Obviously I start slow, so you can see with the, dribble, uh, the juggles, 
I'm starting off slow, getting the rhythm. Then once I get the rhythm, I can start picking it up. Another thing that's important to me is when I am getting to a cone, for example, that I am being fluid with the movement. So if I get to the cone, stop the ball, roam around it, I would never do that in a game, you know? So I'm getting to the cone, I'm making a move. You saw with the inside out foot, I'm getting to the cone, doing a little turn, I'm just making it all game realistic and fluid. That's the most important thing to me. So that's the warm up. All right guys, so the next draw I'm doing is all about my first touch. So you can see from this diagram, five meter cones apart, I'm gonna be standing in the middle and I'm basically gonna be kicking the ball up in the air and I'm gonna be working on different techniques on how to control it. Now what's important to me is my first touch stays within the box because in a game, if I can keep the ball closer to me, there's less chance a defender's gonna get it. So that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna start with the laces and let's try with a few different techniques. Dime lo que tú quieres de mi coqueta Sé lo que te gusta es salir y se suelta Pongo en la reggaeton pa' mí, que muñeca Me gusta salir y se lo sigo So as you can see, always work on that first touch. You know, also if I kick the ball up and it's going outside the box, then my job is to bring it into the box. So as you can see on that last one, it went outside the box and I brought it with my left foot back into the box because my my awareness when the ball's going up, I know that the box is like my safe zone. So if I can get the ball up, no matter where it goes, if I can try and get it back into that box, it doesn't matter if you mess up. You can start off easy by kicking it up or even throwing it up. And then the harder you go, the further you go, higher and higher. Because in a game, you know, a lot of the times keepers will kick the ball high. You gotta reach it, get it, bring it down, bring it back into control. So that's the first main drill I'm gonna work on, which is my first touch. All right, guys. The next one, one of my all-time favorite players to ever watch uh, was Iniesta. And so this is Iniesta's drill. A lot of you will remember one of Iniesta's favorite uh, skills was the quick shimmy to one side to get around a player. When the defender dives in, it's the quick shimmy around the cone. So I've spaced out four cones behind me and I'm basically gonna go to each one and shimmy around it. Then the other foot, then the other foot, then the other foot. So four cones in total. And the key points I'm working on is, first of all, keeping the ball close to my feet. So again, giving the defender less time uh, and less chance to get the ball. The second thing is before I make the move is to make a step. So if I make that little step before I do the shimmy, it makes the defender think I'm going the other way. And the third thing is do everything at high tempo. I'm never gonna get around a defender if I do it slow. So they're the three main things I'm gonna concentrate on. Let's get into it.
very difficult drill. Uh, one of the most difficult skills in the game, in my opinion, um, but really effective. That's why I'm working on it. You can see a lot of times I'm messing up. Um, one thing that's important in the drill is when you shimmy it across, that second touch, try and take it straight. If you take it slightly close to the fender, you're giving him more chance to get it. But yeah, this is why we're working. On to the next drill. Right, the next drill is gonna be a driven pass. One of my favorite drills to do. Um, I do practice it a lot, because in my opinion, as a central midfielder, um, it's extremely important to be able to, to really ping a ball um, and try and keep it low. In a game, I would use it if I'm receiving the ball from the side, behind, in front, and I wanna play a penetrating pass, either into the striker or out wide to the winger, and I don't want the defender to get it, so I'm gonna hit it hard and low at their feet, give them a good opportunity to control it. Um, an important part of the driven pass is to make sure it's a clean, crisp pass. As a midfielder, I'm always thinking about how I would like to receive a pass. So, as a winger or a striker, if someone's really pinging it into me nice and crisp, it's easy to control. Whereas if someone's bobbling it in, most of the time, it's hard to control and you end up giving the ball away. So, this is a driven pass. Another factor is, whenever I'm doing a driven pass, um, and I'm receiving the ball, I would never normally just stand the balls at my feet, touch and play unless it's a free kick. So I'm gonna try and keep the ball rolling as it comes into me, and then I can deal with it like a game. Yeah. Yeah. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. People wanna talk that talk in reality, you have not seen me in action. You think the come up comes overnight, you ain't behind the scenes, trust me, these things don't just happen. No shade to Gerald, but G's don't come easy when you tryna eat, I produce it and rapping. I read that contract, you sent me to sign, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing. Hey, you tryna cut out a piece of my pie, and I asked you politely, what's it that you offer me? Yeah, I produce all my own pieces. Man, I love this game, quote Patrice Evra. Now I'm gonna work on the weaker foot. Yeah, let's be professional. Thanks for your time, but I had to decline at that principle. Hey, I've been scheming up a plan. Hey, I've been saving all I can. Hey, you can call me David Rams. Hey, the way I handle these bands. Hey, we ain't messing with the old model. Hey, you are a new kid, we full throttle. Hey, just know that the come up is not a flow. My amigos, they focus, no one to do. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it. As you can see, not quite as good as the right, but we're getting there. Problem I have with my left foot, a lot of the time I struggle to get yeah. over the ball. Uh, and that's I what keeps it down. So you can see, some of them are going over. So I'm now going to do another set on my left foot, and I'm going to concentrate on keeping the ball down. I do, I've been reinvesting all I ever spent Stop pretending like you poppin' Who been out here making profit? Told my mama that I got this I wonder if she noticed what my job is I don't know how I'ma make it But I know no matter what I'm finna find a way All my homies finna eat and I ain't letting no one on my team Look at an empty plate, yeah, yeah, yeah Went from a boy to a man, ayy Every day been making plans, ayy They don't really understand, ayy Gotta look out for the fail, ayy I won't fall for any scam, yeah Next up, there's little side bodies. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. After I get it, I reinvest. Stack it, stack it, stack it, put it back in it. After I get it, I reinvest. This one is for when both popping out at the edge of the box and I'm coming in as a number 8 or a number 10 and it pops out to me, I've got to hit it first time. So it's okay to toss it up with the hands to start with. Sometimes the ball's got forward spin, back spin, so try to mix it up. So it's important to really chop down on it. That's what I'm working on. Chopping it down, keeping it low, getting it on target, and aiming for the goal. That goal is replicating the corner in a big goal. So I'm not aiming for the middle of the goal, I'm aiming for the corners low and hard. So I'm gonna try and replicate the same technique, but with my weaker foot. So it's gonna be much more difficult, but again, 
work on the weaknesses. Rap spending money in some really funny ways, man. I promise you ain't really getting paid. Yeah, show a couple bands like on the Instagram, and nobody getting fans that way. Yeah, will you really dumb if you spend all your funds on some clothes and your tape near work? Yeah, you ain't gonna stand if you win a businessman, man. I promise you the plan ain't gonna work. Yeah, rap spending money in some really funny ways, man. I promise you ain't really getting paid. If you win a businessman, man, I promise you the plan ain't gonna work. Yeah. I'll take it. Next drill. Okay, so it's finished off the session. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my three favorite skills to beat a defender. I think it's really important as a professional footballer or any footballer to have th at least three skills to use in your repertoire throughout a game um, that aren't predictable and that you can pull out of the bag whenever you need. So it's important to practice them. The first skill is gonna be a fake cross with an Iniesta. So that's why I was doing it earlier. This is what I wanted to work on. You'll see the drill here. So the idea is I'm in the corner of the field I'm coming along the line, I'm going to fake the cross, stop it, and then I'm going to Iniesta it round in here. Because when the defender sees me fake cross, his instant reaction is going to be to think I'm going to chop back this way. So if I can fake cross and then take him round, he's not going to expect that. So let me show you in live play. to make sure that second touch is taking me further and past the defender. So on that last one, my touch wasn't good enough. I did the fake, that was good. For good first touch, my second touch hit my heel and it came back into the defender. So this is what I'm working on, you know? Always working on them weaknesses. Okay, so the final two are gonna be two moves, 1v1 to be a defender, and of course, the most important thing is an end product. So, I'm gonna put an object in the middle, uh, you guys can use anything, beat the defender 1v1, and then put it in the goal. So the first draw I'm gonna do, so it goes like this. Huh. Huh. So, in game pace, it looks like this. Let's go. Let's go. I recommend using the strong foot for this one, but I always roll with my right. Now allow me to reintroduce myself, they call me J-O, A to the easy E. Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeches, trying to air a grievance, but it's like we undefeated. One more set of that, and then I'll show you the third one. Check the air for clearance, call the tower. This is our credit. He the air apparent. Uh huh. Really, I've never been better. Yeah. Legacy, this is forever. Huh. All the more times I've been seven. I'm raising the bar. You can go ahead and measure. Yeah. Think about time for a toast. Yeah. Time that we broke the goat. Yeah. Yo, we're just leaving. I think about time that somebody go get on their coat. You know I got all that anthem. Come back in. What you call that ad? All got anthems and bands with masters. Getting them right like my name was Mo. And then the final one. It's gonna be a Elastico, which is the, the classic Ronaldinho, where he does the outside, inside. You see more traction do it in the prem. But my version, not my version, one that I like to do is the opposite way, inside, outside. So, game time pace, it looks like this. And there will be no surrender. What's important in this one is to have your ankle relaxed. If it's too stiff, it's not going to work. So you got to relax the ankle up a little bit. Forever, you know, you know, this right here forever. I am just leaving a legacy. I am the one that they paid us. Got something to say to me, say, you know, I've been waiting so patiently. This is my legacy. Y'all don't.
have unlimited weights Basically, I have been running things You can just go on and take a seat, yeah Love when they hated me, put that on everything Not on my level, you could be the end That's what I did not want to happen and then for the last set, I can do either or. So, elastico or the roll step and chop. Brand new, nothing you can do, nothing you can do, and there ain't no thing that you'll be taking from me. Made it, I came from nothing, made it something. Name is buzzing, call me Ryan Gosling. Hey, girl, know that they gonna love me more when I'm gone. I'm retired to throw me the kind of things that I'm on. Gonna be feeling like a god because this is forever. Uh huh. And there will be no. Last skill of the day, let's make it the best one. Come on, here we go. You know that this right here forever. No surrender. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram uh, with you guys replicating this or any skills you've got. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.